repeat on the other side. Hmm, no took damage there. That would have been weird. So, as I said, same, same thing here. Actually, completely the same. Okay, jump. And this drops down. And... Come on. And this drops. And there we go. So, drop down here again, and it's safe. And we're gonna grab our final lightning bolts. And get our health restored, so that's convenient. So, for some reason, uh, these things right here aren't triggering the beams. Oh well. I'm not complaining. Ah, oh, this thing right here. Got two, two out of four. Not two out of four. Jesus. Oh well. No! So, suddenly, this turns into Harry Jones or Indiana Potter. Whatever you prefer. Quite a short time though. Well, to be fair, this was a challenge at the age of 8. Ah, there we go. And it stops right there, I think. Yep, yeah, just stops. Anyway, grab the potion ingredients. Might come in handy. Sometimes. Sometime in the future. Anyway. We're in the fourth chamber. For the Chamber of Secrets. So. Let's stun the fire crabs. And what we can do is actually drop it down. I don't think there's really any use for doing that, but why not? So, as far as I know, there's no secret here. Not even up there. And yeah, so you just have to walk in here and get yourself back up. And that's it. Is that even considered a secret? I don't think so. So, obviously, I have missed two secrets in there. Well, I'll buy the silver card afterwards then. Now, this is nothing, obviously. And that is also nothing. So, enter the chamber. And the out exit is blocked. So, timing. Which I'm obviously bad at. And the other thing is that the effect kind of lasts a while, so you can't just rush through. So it's a bit odd the whole timing aspect of this, of this thing. And there you go, 19 potions that I will never use, most likely. I can also jump, by the way. It's actually a bit simpler. But you might get hit, as you saw there. Anyway, final boss battle. I like the sign, by the way. It's actually okay. Aside from the whole cave being shut right there. Oh well. Ginny! Ginny, please wake up! She won't wake. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. 
Little Ginny's been writing in my old diary for months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets, just as I had long ago, before I became Lord Voldemort. No! <laughs> it is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. That's a phoenix. Forks! A sword from Dumbledore. No doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. Well, think again. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. So for some reason, Harry actually didn't get killed while looking straight into the bastard's eye. So that's a bit weird. Anyway, just spam with fireballs, which for some reason can actually be conquer, conjure, conjured? Yeah, conjured out of your sword. Quite convenient, isn't it? Anyway, first phase of the battle is, uh, well, it's done right now. So that's phase one, out of two. And the second part is just a matter of timing, really. We have to wait for him to get up and wait for him to do that. Yeah, you just have to wait and he's going to spit out venom if you wait too long. And he's also spitting out venom when you hit him, as you can quite obviously tell. And if you fire the bolt too early, he will just dodge it, as you saw him try to do right there. I can choke you. There we go. Well, I actually hit him, so... Yeah, and that's a, that's his standard attack, and you really don't want him to do that. And that's the whole battle. Not really that much of a boss battle mechanic, is it? Anyway, see this. That's a bit cool, but that's about it. What's well, a cool battle when you're young, I guess? It's an okay battle, nonetheless. There we go. A few more hits to do it. Three, I think. Might be four. Think for. Seems like it. No, might be just one. Haven't actually lost any life yet from the basilisk. Might have drink myself though. No, one more. Four. Come on, do your thing. There we go. And we are done. They have defeated the great monster of Slytherin. With a few massive fireballs.
Diary Vault. Conveniently placed right there. Stroke of luck. <laughs> Serious stroke of luck. Oh well, anyway. Ending cutscene. Yay. I wanted to tell you. It was me, Harry. But I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's alright. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny. Let's get out of here. Yeah, she was near death a minute ago. And she just walks with ease. Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore! I thought you'd been suspended! Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me. But they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear. What will he think about now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in the girls' bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything, and nothing is too awful. Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. There's a and the whole almost dying part. What do you Being killed by a giant snake and all, and a giant spider. And several and giant courage, crabs, and some small spiders, and etc. etc. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defense against the dark arts classes were cancelled, and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah, the only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. Well, anything you want there to are a few other things. You better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. So... The first thing we should do is buy the final silver card. Now that a trader. What do you have? I have a silver <coughs> wizard card. Never hmm. even shuffled before. That was weird. One well, of the cans are standing in here made a sound. I think the mic picked it up. Anyway, final silver card. Your purchase will make you the envy of your friends, Harry. Sorry. Yeah. Now that I'm close to having the complete later. set. Actually, should I do it? Well, it's not worth it. Not at all. I was thinking of buying flubberworm mucus and just using up uh, all the Wigan tree bark, but it's not worth that at all. Oh, hi, Mr. Norris. How are you liking not being petrified? Well, she seemed to be taking it quite fine. So, off to the Grand Gold Challenge. Hmm. I would actually say those are the easiest cards to get. Just by how quickly you actually get them. You see what I mean, but they kind of just throw them after you, really. Anyway. Unlock all the doors. Or bars, I guess. And off we go.